Happy New Year, young fellow. To my late grandpa! What's so happy about New Year's? <laughs> Everybody whooping it up, getting elastic burns on their chins. And for what? You think by now, 14,000 cocktail wieners into their lives, they'd have figured it out. New Year's Eve is a joke. Take it from me. Last year I made my first New Year's resolution ever. I had to. Grown-ups make such a big stink about it. Yep. I'm gonna lose those 20 pounds this year. I am going to improve my hand strength. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna quit smoking. This is my last one, I swear. Talk about feeble. If you're going to change something, I say change something that matters. Like the world. I didn't know how I'd do it exactly. All I knew was a Riley retro fire jetpack was the key. With a Riley, I could have been a kid superhero. Flying wherever trouble took me. Anywhere on the globe. Instead, I ended up like this. A pathetic blowhole peddling his guts out on a cruddy stingray butt. I just wanted to change the world. But after a whole year of trying, the only thing I changed was my underpants. Was I P.O.'d? You decide. Can you settle us in bed? Or have you picked your target yet? It's in bed. Got your dog back. It's in bike rolled away. I thought back on the whole stinking year. Everybody kept asking me how I was going to change the world with just a jetpack. I'd always say the same thing. First of all, it's not just a jetpack. It's a Riley retrofire jetpack with submersible fuel pods. Then I'd say, shut up. Who knows what I'd do? Maybe fix the hole in the ozone layer? Or drop in on Peking and talk world peace. Whatever I did, planet would end up a better place for all of God's creatures. All I needed was $456.98. Luckily, I had a plan. It all started last February when my brother Pete and I went door to door looking for work. Instead of raking the leaves, washing cars, we had another quality service to offer. Check the yard for landmines, Mrs. Puel. Landmines? Did you say landmines? For only $49.99? We'll check the whole yard. I don't think so, boys. You can never be too safe when it comes to landmines, ma'am. I'll take my chances. How about a free inspection? Hello, anyone in there? I said I am not interested. This won't take long. Right, Inspector? That could have been you or one of your loved ones, ma'am. Will you take a check? The free inspection works every time, especially if you booby trap them on first. Satisfaction is our guarantee. Uh, I don't know. I'll have to ask my husband. Is he home? No, I'm not married. But as soon as I do meet that certain special someone, I'll be sure to ask him. This isn't a joking matter, ma'am. One landmine can ruin your whole day. No, you're ruining my whole day. Well, then you'll be interested in one of our free inspections. No. You throw in a complimentary one brush. N O spell.
How soon can you start? The plan was going perfectly until Pete got sucker punched. Sucker punched by puberty. Landmines? Why would anyone put landmines in my yard? You'd be surprised, Mrs. Jacuti. Uh, maybe you would like to peruse one of our helpful brochures. Well... Uh, sorry, it's just that we, Pete and me, we buried a landmine right over there. It was worse than a mine explosion. It was a hormone explosion. You risked your life for me. Well, not really. Actually, the suit is completely bombproof. It's made from a totally revolutionary new tungsten mylar blend that makes it, uh, um... Bombproof. I know. Thanks anyway. I didn't blame Pete for what happened. I blamed his glands. Because of their throbbing secretions, things between us would never be the same. My best friend was gone, and there was nothing I could do. If I only had my Riley Retrofire Jetpack with the Tilt Action Stabilizer, I'd just set the gyro compass for the Amazon Rainforest, hit the ignition button, and nothing would stop me. Nothing. Stop. Out of my white grunge bag, I'm on my way to save the world. Saving the world begins with pedestrian safety. Blow it out your nose hole, Frank. What was that? Blow it out your nose hole. Scrape me sideways, pipsqueak. Not bad. What a way to start the year. I lost my best friend to a girl. But still, I hadn't lost hope. After all, I did have my very own personal superhero. Archie, the strongest man. <laughs> In the world! Not even Blanche can harm Artie. He's completely puberty. <laughs> With my new paper route and his superhuman strength, I'd have the jetpack money in time to kick Evil's hairy butt by the 4th of July. Hold on to your coffee, snorted buttons. When we last left Artie, the strongest man in the world, he was just about ready to help me with my paper. Look at the work, boy. Look at the work. <laughs> Suddenly, I had an idea. Butkins goes down. A brilliant idea. Hey, Artie. You ever done any bowling? It was my best plan ever. Dad's bowling team, Krantz and Spackle, needed a sub for their big match against Lam Singh's Taco Palace. I had just the guy they needed. All I had to do was bet my wad on Dad's team and let Artie do the rest. Where is he? He'll be here. Well, where does this guy live? In a point of genre. In a what? Is that you doing here? You'll see. <clears throat> Once I wrote his name in the space, it was official. There was no turning back now. <laughs> While we're still young, Poindexter, what do you say? To help him with his aim, Artie built a telepathic wall guidance system. No batteries required, just a hamster. 
You just think where you want the ball to go, and the hamster takes over. Over the next half hour, Artie was as unstoppable as a mudslide. to win it all. you a very lucrative offer. Mmm, tasty sandwiches? Even better. Woo! Ah! Right this way. I was cursed. That guy in the monkey suit was a scout from the pro bowling tour. He signed Artie on the spot. And just like that, he was gone playing in places like Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and Biloxi, Mississippi. The only place I ever saw him after that was on TV. Who is this sensational newcomer to the tour? Let's take a time out and take a closer look. Our story starts in the parking lot of this Jiffy Lube in a humble portage on party calls home. It's tingling. Thanks to me, Artie has become this Mondo bowling superstar. Great for him, bad for mankind. Instead of dropping in on the White House for a surprise powwow with the president, I was stuck doing the whole paper route myself. Even worse, I had to hold this 98-pound Artie special supplement every week. What else could go wrong? On my way, Sash boy, I don't have time for this. There's always time for pedestrian safety. It was clear by now that this guy just didn't get it. I had places to go, planets to save. You know what this sash means, Chief? That you're a loser? No. It means I've taken a vow to uphold the code of the crosswalk. Uphold this! I tried to cross, but somehow I couldn't disobey the sign. Not so fast, Chief. Somebody's got to teach you a lesson. The sidewalk standoff raged on into the evening. Tell me, friend, do you take showers with that sash on? What's it to you, kid? Near midnight, I tried threatening his life, but he didn't even flinch. No, Frank, there are 22 ways to kill a man. 23. By morning, I knew I had met my man. Evil had won this round. Don't you ever go home? No. You want to know why? Sure. Uh, if you let me cross. Okay. Sucker! <laughs> At that moment, as I turned to laugh in his face, I saw Frank for what he really was. A lonely guy just trying to do his job. Yeah. 
You know, I never told anybody about this before, kid. Shoot. All right. Help. It was 11 years ago, a Thursday. I looked away from the crosswalk to light a smoke, you know? No big deal, right? Wrong. A cat named Mr. Boots crossed without looking. He was wasted on catnip. <laughs> he never saw the Ford Imperial coming. Roadkill pizza? No, no. It was close, though. Too close. It shook me up, kid. <laughs> I decided right then that I would never leave my post again, ever. 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Even Christmas? Hmm? Huh? And New Year's Eve, too. <laughs> well, you know, I can't celebrate much out here all by myself. You know? Besides, I got a job to do. Can't take any chances. Frank? Hmm? You need some help around here? You? Yeah, me. I, Pete... You solemnly swear to uphold the code of the crosswalk. I took the oath. But instead of pedestrian safety, I began thinking about my resolution. It was already October, and I hadn't changed squat. I had to get that jetpack. So while Frank slept, I did what I had to do. Come on, kid. What's it take to cross the street around here, huh? Twenty dollars? That's extortion. I won't pay it. All right, all right, here. There you go, you punk. By early afternoon, I had complete control of the crosswalk. Most people obey the power of the sign. But one guy had to learn his lesson the hard way. <laughs> Going somewhere, crankbait? Oh, uh, hi, Frank. Um, have a good sleep? Uh, any good dreams? You let me down, kid. You abandoned your post. Oh, it's just over there. Uh -huh. Give me that badge. Give me that sign. Drop that sash, kid. You're fired. I know Frank had trusted me, but when you're on a mission like mine, few people are going to get hurt. All that mattered was I had the money. After allowing four to six weeks for delivery, the world would never be the same. I tried to kill time by practicing German for my summit meeting in Dusseldorf. Weiß mein Schorf, Blasenlach. Bite my schlof, blasenlach. Bite my scab, blowhole. But still, the leaks crept by like slugs. Then, on December 19th, it came! After everything I'd been through, the raw power of the Riley was finally at my command. Not that I was all that excited or anything. As I shredded the box, I thought about how I'd soon be spitting in the face of evil everywhere. Just like Abe Lincoln. Can you imagine what Honest Abe could have done with a Riley retrofired jetpack? History was in my hands now that I had my trusty fuel injected leaf blower. No! Vincent Riley sent me this stupid leaf blower by mistake. That's when I knew the truth. New Year's resolutions were a joke. For one night you get all wiggly thinking about changing everything, but in the end you're just a feeb. I 
I tried, and what happened? I lost everything. My brother, my superhero, and my dream. All I had left was this terrible feeling that life was a lot like my runaway bike. A bumpy, out-of-control ride to nowhere. If only grown-ups could see it ride by. Maybe they'd understand and stop bothering with their puny resolutions. I mean, if you think about it, who in their right mind would want to celebrate New Year's? Suddenly, I knew who. Frank. Another year was over and he was still out there, all alone. Maybe I couldn't make the world a better place for all mankind, but at least I could make it better for one person. If I could only get there in time. Trouble ahoy. I guess you're looking for this, huh, kid? No, I was looking for you. Oh, yeah? Why? You need some quick cash? I just wanted to tell you something. What? And I'm a blowhole, huh? No, I just wanted to say, well, I'm sorry, and Happy New Year! Yeah. yeah. It's Happy New Year's to you, too, kid. Can I try that? Smoking. Are you gonna quit? Or smoke more. I'm gonna quit. It's my last one, I swear. What about you? Still planning on saving the human race? Yeah, why not? I've got a whole year. I'll think of something.